Pokey, what are you doing? Start sniffling, snuffling. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes, I know. Hello. What? Look, we're trying to do a thing. <laughs> so, we're trying to do a thing. Okay. And we've had a pokey bump. Yes, we have. Uh, no, diggy dog. Ready? <laughs> Might as well be his back. He's like a little bad smell. Oh god, piranha boy's here as well. No, ow! Right. right. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> got, to the madness that is our life. We've been invaded by Loki the land shark and his psychic piranha boy. Yeah. And I've gone a bit. Okay, get this done quickly. <laughs> <coughs> so. Um, We've had a week we of incidents and things. Things. <laughs> it's fine. It is what it is. Yep. Stuff happens and you're still with it. Yep. Um, we got a bit done in the corral, not as much as we'd planned. Certainly not anywhere near as much as we'd planned. <laughs> but it's because all these other things <laughs> had... <laughs> yeah. All these other things had to be dealt with. So uh, we so, brought you along for the ride. A bit. A bit. <laughs> Let's see what you think. Enjoy the video. Yep. If you do, please like, subscribe, we'd appreciate it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, yes. Bye for now. Hot one again. Keep talking about it. <clears throat> Today's job is to clear everything out of here. Over, oh, to this, over to this area over here. Obviously, we're going to clean all this up first. Move everything over in some sort of orderly fashion, which then gives us access to the rest of this wall and then we can continue around the room as the plan is to get everything plastered. Yes, and that will be the last wall to be completed, which means the walls will be done. Here, then we're going to do cave two. Shh, don't tell me that, I don't want to know. That's it, we're done, sweat through. Yes. Moved everything out of here. Oh yes. Scaffolding's up, ready to go. And believe it or not, all of that, which is just boxes of empty bottles and all sorts of weirdities, all fitted in there. Looks a lot more here. <laughs> it kind of does, not it? But there you go. Right, <laughs> leave everything open for some breeze. Just for now, close it up tonight and we are at it tomorrow. Yes, we are. We are recording back on our mobile devices. Good job the Google Pixels and they have absolutely awesome canvas. <laughs> so we've been having issues with our camera. It's only four months old. Yeah. It's notorious when you actually search on the internet for the problems we've been having. Yes. Contacted the manufacturer. They agreed that we'd done all the appropriate things that we should have done to try and fix it. And would we please send it back to them for a replacement? So, got the paperwork for the replacement and it said I had to drop off the camera at a UPS, UPS drop-off point. That was the first thing we were going to be doing today. Second thing is, got up this morning having let the dogs out to do their thing. Came back to have a look see what, what was happening and to give them their breakfast to find that Dover had eaten fly screen door. So he chewed through the actual mesh and then when there was no mesh at the bottom he bounced on the bottom bar and snapped the brackets. I have no words. <laughs> so, and apologies if this is a bit shaky because my arm's not a tripod. <laughs> we'll have to get the bracket to put this under a tripod. <laughs> so checked on the line and found somewhere where they got replacement fly screen doors so I don't have to get them from Amazon I thought ha two birds one stone let's go out to UPS drop-off point to drop this camera off and then continue on to get a place on fly screen door yes so we went to Caveliente for the UPS office which which isn't actually an office it's a it's a sweetie shop yes 
It's a sweetie shop that's closed for two weeks holiday. He doesn't reopen until the 2nd of September. And today's the 17th of August. Yes. He was there. He said, and I could take it off you. He said, but because technically I'm closed because I'm repainting, and that's the reason you managed to get at the door, there's no stuff being collected. So it's just going to sit here. So that was no good. So we had to keep going to the rabbit warren that is Elche proper. Oh my goodness, all those one way streets, it is not amusing. Not amusing at all. But we found the UPS drop off point. It was a bakery. <laughs> the first one was a sweetie shop, and the second one was a bakery. So you've had a nice cake. So I've got a nice cake. You bought me a cake. And yeah, it wasn't I didn't nice. like it. <laughs> I don't like cinnamon. I tried. Um, so then continued on to Brico Depot because online it said they had replaced some mos mosquito doors, the ones that we wanted. I haven't got any stock. Yeah. Online said they had it and they haven't. So that was one of the major things we went for. There was another couple of things on our list we picked up. We got um, another electricity extension cable so we're not just working off one all the time. The first one that we had, we've had a long time. I bought it from Chinese shop. It was relatively inexpensive, but therefore relatively not good quality. Thanks. Anyway, got up, picked up some other bits and pieces as well. The important thing we have managed to get that's been sitting on our list for a while is some more storage shelves. Well, this is typical IKEA type instructions. I just had a laugh. Chris just said you need a, a flat headed screwdriver, a mallet, a bar of soap, a level, a drill, and a pair of gloves. What do you need a bar of soap for? Wish us luck. So I'm constructing this thing and just look at my view. Do you get the impression I've got an audience? Oh, that one's passed out. Surrounded by an audience much? Hmm. Some people like surround sound. <laughs> have no choice but to be surround dog. <laughs> well, turns out the bar of soap. It's a bit of wood. Maybe so would have worked as well, but I think if I hammered it in this heat, it would just turn into mush. So, it is constructed. Originally, we was going to be coating this here. Um, and the amount we'd make would be too much for just this small area. Um, and then there's more work that needs to be done here. <clears throat> so, Lillian decided that I should stop making plans. Lime is not going up on that wall. The reason being there's still electricity to do here, the very last of the electricity digging for any of the walls in this corral. We want to put lights up here, we will need electricity sockets and switches and various bits and bobs here. Freeze is going to live here and this is going to be an indoor barbecue. Okay, marks on walls now have to be dug out and then channels up to do the bit at the top but the important bit we've had to work out is the height that we actually want sockets at when this becomes a working area. Right. End of a day I believe there's a cold beer with your name on it. Aye after a shower. Muggy today really muggy. Yeah. Anyway I've done the sockets put the tubes up there unfortunately I used more yay so rapid than I should have done so I would run out get some more tomorrow. We know there's a place locally that's open that we'll, we'll have some. Mm -hmm. In fact, I might have the neighbour, I'm sure they might have some. Yeah. Um, so, we've still got this box to put in. That's going there. We've got these two boxes to put in. These are for the lights. On there, on there. That needs filling anyway with rocks. And then some um, cow, which we've got over there to do. Yeah. So we'll just fill back for that tomorrow. There, the same game up there, these the same but rapid, get that done, that done, and then get that back filled. Get this on, get that on, done. Ready for plastering, that's all the wretches in route. As soon as them two are on, and that's done. Good job. Indeed, I'm looking forward to it. They're going to run the wires through. That's a problem in itself, but it's getting these set up first. Yeah. So, it's too hot. I've customised my trousers, I now have some designer shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have to go out at the end to get any more yeso. 
Um, we found some in the stock that we've got down in our storeroom. I spent the afternoon yesterday whilst Chris was cutting all of this, tidying up because we've just got stuff in there and you just lob stuff into your storage area, don't you? Tidied it up, found we've got yay, so. However, neither of us are feeling particularly well today. I don't know what we've eaten. It was my turn to cook last night, so maybe I did something wrong. Don't know. Anyway, that by the by, we will definitely get these tubes set today and hopefully I see how the time goes I'd like to get one batch of lime pot up which I know is going to use, go across here and then it's going to start going across here but there's quite a little big ledge to fill there so how far it will come down this way I don't know but I would definitely like to get one batch done today yeah but we'll see how it goes yeah it's not so much the time it's the feeling of unwellness yes it's not pleasant working when you're not feeling well no definitely not chris has put the pipe work in where it needs to go um we keep saying we're going to plaster not quite what we've now got to do is basically put the pipes into lime what we'll actually create is a slope from this bottom flat area to what's going to be plastered at the top there but there needs to be some sort of transition Tough past four, we have actually achieved what we wanted to achieve, which is that lime, the dark colour there, the reddish colour you can see, has now been done in such a way that we have a fluid transition between the wall underneath that is further in and the wall above that is further out. Further out. Hey. Yeah. It's uh, early-ish, before we, not earlier than what we would normally be starting. I'll just come in to check, open the windows, let some cool air circulate around. Uh, and yesterday we looked and we thought, hmm, these two black sockets up here are a different height. And it's just, it just looked wrong, completely and utterly wrong. Um, yes, they are slightly different height, that was my mistake. I lost the, uh, my mark as I was doing it but it's uh, about half of a centimetre difference I don't know if you can if the line laser line showing up uh, maybe it should be here yeah we have to see it here believe it or not yeah actually when you stood here looking it looks like this one is lower than this one. In reality, it's the other way around. This one is lower than this one. This room is full of optical illusions. Oh, boom, boom. So we've lost the day today. Um, various things. I had to go to the dentist this morning, and uh, poor Loki's had to go to the vets just now. He's had half his face shaved. He looks, he looks like a real weird bulldog because he's got something on his face. They called it dermatitis, and it's just a snotty, horrible mess. That he's got and it all cleaned off, medicine, and he's got medicine for the next 16 days. Yeah, it looks a bit like a really, really nasty, angry um, eczema. It does, yes, yeah, there's little bumps and stuff, isn't there? Yeah. And there's also an, a patch of... If you have a scab as a kid and you don't leave the scab on to heal and you keep taking it off, you get that green goo. This is getting really pleasant, isn't it? But anyway, yeah. he's got that in a patch about this size on his face. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll show you anyway when we get home. Yeah. It's not a pleasant thing at all. Um, and he's been fine, it's not a problem, until Saturday evening. He started scratching a lot and we just didn't think about anything of it. No, he was shaking his head a lot. When he does that, I always check his ears to make sure he's not got anything in there. Because I've heard about dogs getting weird seeds and things in there and bothering them. He just kept shaking his head. Saturday night night, he started shaking. I think he's bought it with his dew claw. And that's where he's been scratching. It's an absolute mess. It does. However, as ever, Christina and her team have looked after us. He will be fine. Right, well, what we thought was perhaps a little cut on Loki's face over the weekend, but he'd faffed it over the weekend and it wasn't looking particularly nice and we've gone to the vets. It's turned into the fact that he's got dermatitis, they say. It looks like eczema. 
on his face under his fur. So his fur has been shaved. He wouldn't let anybody near him, so he's been knocked out. So we have a knocked out dog who's yes. particularly ugly at that end, something like off a horror movie. And I'm taking the opportunity to remove the extra. As much Loki as possible. Yes. Uh, it's interesting trying to groom him, isn't it? That's why we normally go to a groomer's. Apparently he's really well behaved at a groomer's. But he's really not well behaved with us. With me, he turns it into a game and I'm scared of hurting him. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. And this is the unfortunate side effect of... In the UK, they call it a hot spot. <clears throat> it's that poor little lad. Yep. No, don't scratch it, mate. Scratch don't. it, good boy. Uh, we've got some medication, but he can't have it until tomorrow because of the knockouts and everything that he's had. So uh, we've got to really, really keep on top of him. We've got a comb for him. The vet doesn't want him to have a comb. But she said that if if he continues to scratch and you can't stop it, then you, you've got to put a cone on because you've got to protect the skin. Otherwise, a secondary infection could be very, very serious. So, uh, here we go. Poor little lad. Poor little lad. Okay, so the little hero is coming round. Little man. Uh, when we weighed him at the vet, he was 36 kilos. I suspect he's probably only maybe 20 now. <laughs> <laughs> About the same weight as Dover is. Anyway, he was talking and realised it was about two years ago when this diva had a similar thing. Um, around the same time as Loki was the same age as Dover is now. Now, uh, the vet says it's it's because of the humidity. I think we've worked out the cause of said humidity. Puppy spit. Yeah. Dover jumps up at Loki's face all the time. Same as Loki the used to do to Kai. Same as Loki used to jump up to Kai. So, uh... I never thought about it. We never thought about it. No? Never even give it a thought. Anyway, well, we've got the cone set up. So, uh... We're going to have to call it soon because he really, really does not like being groomed. He's, uh, I think that's actually what's helping him come, come back to life. Probably, but I've got to make the most of it. Yeah, yeah, certainly do. Righty-ho, what a day. 